Okay, uh, we are back. Um, one of the reasons I'm making this video is twofold. Um, the first video I didn't show you any of the internals in the cabinet. And the second reason is, um, today at work, uh, I had the, um, the need to figure out how to use video editing software, such as, uh, well, ed namely Shotcut because my job is cheap and won't pay for decent software. But anyway, uh, I had to use it for work, and it got me thinking. You know, I enjoy all these uh, channels like John's Arcade, and uh, 8 Bit Pit, and uh, a bunch of other guys, uh, Arcade Hollywood. You know, guys who make some, uh, some good videos with good production. And I'm like, you know what? I want to try that. Let's give this a try. And I needed material to make a video with, so I figure we'll do the internals, right? Um, and if everything has worked out to plan, um, before you saw this, you maybe saw, hopefully saw, a little video opening. And um, during this video, if I have the opportunity, uh, I'll put some more, uh, put some more music in there. Uh, a little uh, music opening is what I meant to say, and I'll put some uh, some music in the video if I have the opportunity to do so. You know, make it a little more entertaining, make it a little more fun, make it a little more watchable rather than me just yapping the entire time, because I tend to go off on tangents if you hadn't realized that already. But at any rate, so hopefully this uh, is a little bit better, better production value, and will be that way going forward, as long as I, you know, it holds my interest, which hopefully it will for a while. But let's go into the cabinet internals, shall we? So, here's our spatter-painted coin door. Um... What I really should have done, I really should have brought a flashlight over here. Uh, that probably would have been the smart thing, but I'm not very smart, so I didn't do that. Uh, so right here we can see it's got a, uh, what is that, 70,592 plays. Uh, on top here, there is some, uh, some masking tape where somebody wrote 140. So I'm guessing maybe um, when an operator or somebody acquired this already had 140 plays on it and they were just marking that so they knew um, where it started I don't know but it says 140 on it uh, in here nothing too exciting I know you really can't see that but we have your standard midway coin bucket with uh, some washers we have the um, rally X serial tag that used to be stuck to the coin door but it is now not number 740 some spray paint on there. Uh, under the coin bucket, we have nothing. Okay, uh, let's go around to the back. All right, we're now in the back of the game. And let's, um, as they say, take it from the top. I got a light this time, too. So our monitor here is a, um, let's see if I remember it from last time. Say Wells Gardner, what's that say? K5381? 5831, I'm sorry, I'm trying to look over the camera. 5831, which I mentioned before, is a clone, well, not a clone, but it's the same thing as a 4900. Uh, same cap kit. So if you need a cap kit for a 5831, that's what you get. You get a 4900 cap kit. Uh, monitor here, looks like it was probably recapped at one point, I guess. As you saw uh, before, it works okay. The uh, the neck board, and I knew this going in, this wasn't a surprise, the neck board was cracked uh, on transport when this was delivered to the guy, uh, the previous owner, the guy I bought it from. So he, uh, he jumped that out, and it's now working. Uh, the reason I think this was broken was because, I don't think I showed this to you guys before, but here's the back door. And uh, I... I, I could have sworn these all had the back bubble for the monitor neck and the monitor frame. Uh, or maybe not, but uh, that's what this has. This one has a uh, piece of wood cut out. Should probably get in the frame. Piece of wood cut out with another piece of wood over it to make room for that neck board. You can see the, uh, the sharpie that was used there to draw it out. Um, so that is obviously not factory. Or maybe it is, but I highly, highly doubt that. Uh, they even went to the trouble of putting a little pocket on the bottom. So um, I'm guessing the original back door for this one was broken or lost. They made their own. And probably when this thing was uh, shipped, 
the neck board came into contact with that um, that cutout and uh, broke it. Good thing it didn't neck the monitor, right? Because that would have been bad. So as part of our project, we're going to cap that and we're going to take care of that monitor. All right. Um, on to the power supply right down here. As you can see, those look to me like original caps. Um, so that's going to have to be taken care of. I haven't even checked the fuse values on it. Yeah, shame on me. Um, who knows if those are even the right fuses. I know it's probably should, the first thing I should have done, but I didn't. We're going to go through that and check that. We could also see here, right there, if we look, I'll try to get you in closer, get a better view. We see some burned connectors. Now, I'm not disconnecting this to show you because every time I futz with it, I wind up having a hell of a time getting the game to, uh, to work correctly again. So you get some burn connectors right here. Uh, we're going to take care of that. If you also notice the wires going into the back of the board, that is because somebody went and they soldered directly to the header pins. Right here, you got a piece of uh, lamp cord here. And this yellow wire is doing the same thing. It's uh, down there and it's connected direct directly to pins. And you can see they spliced in some extra wires here. You got this guy hanging here. Uh, not even covered so somebody did a quick fix in the field or maybe even a quick fix at home to get this thing running again but uh, I have the header pins on order the right angle ones I didn't have with all the parts I have I didn't have right angle header pins I have plenty of uh, 156 Molexes uh, KK uh, crimp housings so we're gonna take care of those and down here even further I, I want to say this is where the power comes in I mean, look at that. That is one melted housing. So that definitely saw some heat. Uh, I tend to think, though, I don't know. I, yeah, well, I mean, the wires all, you can see this wires all melted. I don't know what the hell went on here. But you see these wires are all melted here. And you can see they've been repaired and taped. And I got this guy hanging out over here, this ground. God only knows why they did that, but I gotta investigate the pinouts a little bit and see what the heck's going on here and what's supposed to go where, and we'll put it back the way it's supposed to be. Also, replacing these header pins down here, of course, and more right angle headers. As far as the board, board don't look so bad. Let me bring it down a little lower so you can see that. Only problem with using a tripod, right? Board don't look so bad. Uh, the connector on the board, edge connector looks okay. Everything down here looks okay. Guy said he had to put new ROMs in it because it wasn't working before. So, at least we know it has new ROMs, I guess. Cabin's dirty, needs a vacuum. Get wiped out. As uh, as many of these usually, many of these usually do. Oh, focus, focus, focus. There we go. And. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all about for the inside. Like I said, this was just an excuse to make another video. So I could, uh, I had something to play around with and shot cut. So, there we go. That's it for now. Hopefully this video has a little bit better production value, like I said. And uh, very soon we're going to get started. The next time we see this machine and you hear my droning voice, uh, we are going to be taking it apart. Taking all the metal stuff off, we'll take the monitor out. Take the boards out, and we'll uh, we'll start on that. It's supposed to be a decent weekend, and I should have some time even later in the week. Maybe we'll start stripping down some metal parts and doing some work. Uh, we're having a real hot week here in the Northeast, even though it's the beginning of September. So dragging this thing out into the shed and uh, sanding it and taking the the vinyl off and everything. We're gonna wait till it gets a little cooler out. I don't want to be sweating my my ass off in 90 degree heat doing that. So, nicer weather's around the corner. We'll tackle that when the time comes. For now, that's all. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.